you guys welcome back to my channel it's me jay everything in business diy and fashion this video is long 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 overdue as you can see from the title we are doing badge reels um some people call them uh, work id holders i hear badge clips whatever you call it we doing it today these was very very popular um when i posted my video on instagram it became very trendy and everyone was curious how to make them so of course i am going to show you guys what you need to do what supplies you need so you can add this on to your business so let's see the, the supplies we need to get this going so the supplies you will need is a split ring plier a long nose plier your split rings and jump rings your charms of your choice of what you would like to use as a has a design you will need some tray charms a bash an empty bash grill holder and some adhesive this is the adhesive that i choose um i get this from walmart and i like it it basically is like e6000 glue but it dries much much quicker and I have another tray charm I'm going to do in the silver trim that I have set to the side. So these are the supplies that you will need. And all of these supplies can be found. Um, well, not all of them, but the tray charms and the charms can be found on www.jsire.com. So make sure you check it out. Here is some bash reels that I already completed and done before. So this giving you um, an idea of what we what we are about to create. So um, it went from this to this. So let's get into it. Okay. So first thing first, we're gonna have our badge clip. Um, I personally like to get them this color because I can use any type of tray charm and it's not gonna reflect in the back because these batch clips also come in different colors as well but the um but it covers the whole thing so if you're using a tray charm that's purple the outer line of this yellow will show so that's why i like to use an all white or all clear batch reel because i will have the flexibility to use any type of tray charm i want but i also still like to get these um just in case i'm able to match my tray charms with these colors you can find these empty bash clips on amazon and i also will have some available on www.jsire.com under the wholesale tab um so yeah so it's totally up to you where you like to get them from but one thing i would like to add was make sure that when you're designing this making sure it's on the right side so the part that pulls out supposed to be hanging on the bottom so don't forget that because if not your tray charm will be upside down just like what i did on this one so this one i did it completely wrong because you see when i turn it down upside down well not upside down but when i put it the right way my tray charm is upside down so don't make the same mistake that i did you guys okay so um so when you're creating Make sure when you place your tray charm, this part is hanging down because this is where the uh, day ID badge will go. So like when you at work and you be like, whoop, you know, that's how that go. So we're gonna do the golden white one first. So I got my tray charm and please, please remember you can make your own tray charms or you can buy them already made just like this or you can create one yourself and you can pick which tray charms you want. And these are super, super cool to make because you can put like different themes inside. You can put some for nurses, dentists, whatever you want, or just keep it with the luxury um, brands. So first thing first, I get my long nose plier and I make sure I take this top piece off. So I grab it and then I'm gonna pull it off so this can be tough so I pulled it off 
So now I just have a circle. Hope y'all can see. So now I got a circle. Cause y'all know we always want our work to look nice and sleek and clean. So we don't want that hook hanging off on that bash reel, that little tacky. So I took that off with the long nose plier and then I'm gonna rub the adhesive all around the circle. Such as so. See, I got it all. See, I got it all around the circle. So I fill that circle up and then I am going to place it on top and I'm gonna make sure I get the middle make sure it's placing in the middle as close as I can get it. So I wanna make sure it's centered with that bottom piece. So you wanna make sure it's centered evenly, such as so. It's gonna slide cause it's wet, but you know, you're gonna make sure it's in the center and it's up evenly. See one of my, um diamonds broke off i'm gonna have to put the adhesive on there for me that's why you gotta be super careful pulling that tab off because sometimes your diamond can come out but i'm just gonna place it Okay, so while that's drying, I like to get my um, charms that I'm gonna, I want to use ready. So I put the jump ring and split ring on there. It's totally up to you if you just want to add a split ring and not a jump ring. You can do that as well. I just like to use jump rings and split rings at the same time um, due to my charms can rotate. 360 so so I'm going to shout out to the subscriber who told me this trick that I can put the split ring and a jump ring together at the same time I've been doing it ever since so shout out to you sis so I'm basically putting these together And these charms can be found. Um, all the information will be in the description, okay? So I'm gonna post where you could get these charms from, and then I'm also gonna post um, where you can get these badge reels from on Amazon too. I'm gonna put it all in the description. Also, I just want to pause and remind you guys to please make sure you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and you like it. And please make sure you subscribe and tell your friend or your cousin or whoever who need help and they trying to get into the business to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Okay. So now let's get back into this video. I like to add charms right where this little triangle thing at that's what i like to add charms at and then you can let me see mm, yeah and then you can also maybe add charms in this first little hole So, it's two spots you can squeeze holes. You can put your charms here, and you can put charms in this little circle hole. It definitely depends on how full you want to make it. So, this glue already drying, like it's already setting. So, this is how it looks so far. 
don't know if y'all can see this. It's like so bright. Well, you, well anyway, y'all get the picture. It's supposed to be like that. So I'm gonna add the charms on there. And then we're gonna go on to the next one and then I'm gonna show you guys both of them how they look completed so again this is the second one and we're gonna take this part off we do not want this okay so we're gonna take that off but be careful and try not to break the rhinestone like I did I broke the damn thing but it's hard Sometimes it's easy to come off and sometimes they not. Okay. Ooh, I like that method better. Like I grabbed it by the bottom and then I turned it and my rhinestone still secure. My other rhinestone came off, but this one made my rhinestone stay. Okay, make sure, don't forget, make sure this part is at the bottom, okay? Because you don't want your stuff to be upside down when they wearing it like i tell y'all don't don't be like me y'all i'm teaching y'all to be better than me so y'all won't make the same mistakes that i used to do so yeah so we got all the adhesive around the thing i put it around the full circle and again you get this from walmart it's it's like e6000 but it it like dry way faster it's called mixed media adhesive then i'm gonna place this bad boy in center and align it i'm gonna align it it's already looking nice and then you're gonna make sure like the rhyme like how i do it i make sure like this rhinestone part is covering like all around the edges show that beige real as less as possible so while that's setting i'm gonna do the charms for this one since it's breast cancer awareness month i'm gonna do a breast cancer one for this one shout out to all our cancer survivors or who's currently fighting breast cancer shout out to you guys
bottom. It's kind of tough for me to miss them, but we making it work. Period. Okay. We can make something happen. Then we gonna put the this one. Yeah, this is a super cute work work badge reel. You can get these as gifts. Like right, this is cute, and you know this this will sell good because everybody you know need to wear badges. You know, well not everybody, but a lot of jobs gotta wear badges for work. You know, so they can have something cute for work. This one kind of looks too so full. But it's still cute. Okay. So now I'm going to show y'all the results. I think I like the black and white one more. But what y'all think? I'm going to show y'all. Tell me okay, here's the final result. Which one you like more? The golden white or the black and white? Comment and let me know which one is your favorite. But this is the final result. Oh, how do you look? Again, you see I took that hook off, but when you take it off, Make sure you're not breaking that rhinestone because it's going to fall out. And then you're going to make sure this is at the bottom when you do it because you see that? That's where they're going to clip it on their shirt. And this is where they're going to attach their badge. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's going to look. Give me one second. So I'm going to be the model, of course. And I'm going to use my husband <laughs> work badge because, yeah, I don't have no job that I have my own work badge. So this is his work, work badge. And you see they had a little slot. So that's where you're going to use this little piece for, for this little slot. So I'm going to put the slot in. And I'm going to clip it. You see? I clipped it. This is how it looks on there. Okay, and then maybe I should maybe I should do the gold and white one has the example since this one is still a little wet. But now that I see it with the badge, I think like one charm, maybe two would be good enough for this. Cause the ID is a lot. So I think one to two charms is good enough. And then you're gonna just people just have it on their clothes, uh, on their shirt. Shit, I think still wet. So, well, let me use my old one. Shit, why am I doing all this? I give myself a hard time because this stuff's still wet. So let me use the. Uh, here's an AKA one I did. So we wanna just use this because the other one's still wet because it's like shifting. Okay, so this is how it looks. And then we're gonna snap it on me. I got on my work badge. Look at that. And you know how most jobs. See? And then you know how most jobs, you know, you don't need to like scan on. Um, hold on, can't see me. You know. Hold on, let me move this so y'all can see me. See? Isn't it cute? 
and then you know just imagine you walking into work and then you know the door and then you know how the door be locked and you gotta scan your id you go boop y'all see that y'all see how it go you go boop and you walking in like a bad bitch okay and you gonna walk into work and they gonna be like girl where you get that id badge from and then you tell them you're gonna be like girl i make these i make these for my business Here's my card. You know, that's how you do that. But yeah, you, you, then you going on lunch. Gotta leave out. Beep. See that? And then you can get them to match your outfits, baby. Don't, they ain't gonna know how to handle you at work, okay? They ain't gonna be ready. But that's it, you guys. Simple, simple, simple. Simple, simple, simple. Not hard at all, right? I tell you guys all the time, a lot of stuff is not hard. It's all about finding quality pieces and finding the stuff to make the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, stuff is pretty much really, you know, easy to make. It's all about finding the right connections and the right products and making sure the products are quality. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful because i know a lot of you guys been trying to figure out these badge reels and how the hell you make them so i'm glad i was able to show you guys so let's put in that work and let's make some if you end up making some badge reels make sure you tag me on instagram on the wholesale page at jsre underscore wholesale make sure you at me and let me know that you made these um again i appreciate you guys for joining in tuning in with me um i will be posting two to three times a week i'm tr i plan on posting more content um and yeah i hope to see you guys next time on the next one thank you bye